This is question 15. Here we're told that hot drinks are served at a temperature of 70 degrees centigrade. And then we're told that the graph shows the temperature of a hot drink as it cools on a china mug from the time it is served. We're asked to work out the rate of cooling for of the drink at time 20 minutes. So what we are doing here is we are working out a rate of change. And in order to do that, when we have a curved graph, so we've got a curved graph here, when we are looking to try and find a rate of change, what we need to do is we need to draw a tangent to our curved graph and work out what the gradient is at that tangent. So we need to do this at time 20 minutes. So I'm just going to draw a tangent to the graph, so a line which, a straight line which just touches the graph at 20 minutes. So a little bit like so. So that, that straight line, that is just touching the curve at time 20 minutes. And what I now need to do is I now need to work out what the gradient of the tangent is. So to work that out, I need to look at what is happening to y as x is increasing by 1. So what I can see here, and when I mean y, I'm talking about the y-axis, so temperature. And when I'm talking about x, I'm talking about time in minutes. So what I can see is that at time 20 minutes, we've got approximately, I'd say that that's probably at 35. And so when this, what I can see is that this is decreasing by 5. And when that is decreasing by 5, x has changed by, let's have a little look. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So a change uh, when x is increased by 6, y has decreased by 5. So after um, as 6 minutes passes, uh, the temperature is decreasing by 5 centigrade. So to work out our gradient here, all that I'm going to need to do is, so to work out the gradient, I'm going to take the change in y, which is negative 5, and divide that by the change in x, which is 6. So negative 5 divided by 6, which is going to give me um, negative 0.83 uh, recurring, so negative 0.83 recurring, and so when asked what is the rate of cooling, uh, here what I can say, well, it's just uh, so the temperature is decreasing at 0.83 centigrade per minute, and so I would say that the rate of cooling is going to be 0.83. Notice that. Notice that I have ignored the negative 0.83. That's because I'm speaking about the rate of cooling. If I were to be speaking about um, uh, the rate of warming, then I could refer to it as being minus 0.83. But because I'm speaking about the rate at which uh, the drink is getting colder, and I'm talking here about, and again, that it is decreasing by that amount, I would ignore that negative here and say that it's um, that it's decreasing by 0.83 uh, centigrade per minute. So final answer 0.83.